Time for our top three, the three games, teams, players, moments that stuck out to us tonight. I will start, Andy, and I'm going with CGB, that double overtime winner at Argena Oriana. Give me Urbana number two. The Tigers pick first up the win? first win, and Cannon Leonard, the buzzer beater, to knock off BHRA. Both of those teams solid. Yeah, how could you not go Cannon as the number one? So I'm going to follow there, but three and two will go Centennial getting the big, big 12 win over Danville, and then the Shelbyville statement win on the road in the CIC. They won big over Tuscola. I don't know how many people were expecting that one. And then, of course, the Land Leonard buzzer beater. I mean, when you're 6'9", you can make shots like that, of course. He's going to be at the top of a lot of this. I just can't wait for that dynamic between Cannon and Clayton. I know. Iowa, Illinois. Big Ten football. brothers. Right. Sky Clark stepping away from basketball on the Illini for the time being. For personal reasons, the Illinois freshman guard announced on Twitter this afternoon his decision has nothing to do with basketball, adding he needs to prioritize himself and his family. Yeah, Clark ha gave no timetable for a return asking for privacy. The highly touted guard has started 12 of 13 games this season, averaging 24 minutes and 7 points per game, while shooting 41% from the field. Clark went 1 for 6 in the double-digit loss to Northwestern Wednesday night. He missed the previous game with an injury. Overall, the Ilana are searching for answers after the disappointing result against the Wildcats at 0-3 in Big Ten play. It doesn't get any easier with four 14th ranked Wisconsin in town tomorrow. We need to get back to playing with our with our with our swagger, with our with our confidence. We, you know, this is it's, again a team that beat UCLA, a team that beat has beaten Texas. We've beaten good teams. We played good teams, and collectively as a group, we fight together. We showed that the other night, um, I, and again, I liked the I, I liked our fight. We weren't fighting. We had a stretch. We weren't fighting. Wisconsin atop the Big Ten standings at 3-0. Illinois at the bottom with Minnesota, the only two teams without a league win yet, 12-30 tip on ESPN2. Meanwhile, the Illinois women's basketball team off to its best start in program history. How about that? At 14-2, the Illini rolling in head coach Shauna Green's first season in Champaign, doubling up last year's win total with their first win over the Wildcats last night in nine years. Just a half game out of first place in the Big Ten. The Orange and Blue have plenty of confidence with a 4-1 record, and despite letting a double-digit first-half lead slip away against Northwestern, they were still able to pull it out. You're not always going to play you know, your best basketball, but again, great teams and, and elite teams find a way to win basketball games, even when they don't play their best or defend the best or shoot the best. So uh, we'll work on our defense because uh, it's something we do and it's something that we take a lot of pride in. Um, but just really proud that, that these guys were able again to find a way and make plays when we had to. Biggest test yet awaits with a trip to league leader Ohio State Sunday at 1. Buckeye 16 0 this season. Illinois football signing in Arthur Lovington at Wood Hammond senior Caden Fagan, the Illinois Gatorade Football Player of the Year. Announced today, Fagan had 2,300 total yards as a senior, 37 touchdowns to go along with 82 tackles defensively. He's the second straight Illini to win the Player of the Year for Gatorade following Rochester's Hank Beatty last year. All right, quickly to close us out, a new era officially starts with Illinois track and field today. First meet for new head coach Petros Kipriano at the Illini Classic at the U of I Armory. 600 meters, Lydia Malachek finishes with a time of 135 on the men's side. Tadia Platzik clocks 118. The 60 meters is always fun. A sprint from start to finish, and it's freshman Azaria Bryant going 7.39 seconds. The second and final day of the meet is tomorrow. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks so much for watching. For Andy, I'm Brett. Plenty more coverage tomorrow, Illinois and Wisconsin. We'll see if the Illini can get something going. We'll see. Not very good so far. Good night.